Alrighty then, so it has been a while since I've actually logged onto this account. The only other time was when I released the episode, the second episode, just after completing Dragon Slayer. I haven't done anything since, and yeah, we're current coming into the cr Christmas scene now, and obviously the Christmas event's out. Um, just got myself a festive aura, so that is the I think 50% XP boost for 30 minutes a day. So that'll be throughout all of December, I guess. So that'll be nice to use on this account at least. Um, and also, they do have a a Christmas calendar, which, you know, I've, I've been seeing a few bits on social media about it, you know, on Twitter and stuff. People raging, people complaining um, that if I open day one, then we can either claim, I think, Silverhawk boots or um, Silverhawk feathers. So hopefully we can get the boots. I think we get both. So yeah, we get Silverhawk boots, so that saves a bunch of time in, you know, in the sense of not getting Thala. So I'm glad I didn't actually start any mini games because, um, you know, it would have been such a time waste. I can see why so many people are complaining, um, was because obviously they'd spent so much time getting Silverhawk boots or Thala for Silverhawk boots. And then Jagex just dropped this bombshell and gives them for free on day one of December. So yeah, we ripped all the people that spent time getting them. Just hit level 30 thieving, so I'm doing this method, it's 210 per door, you have to hop worlds though, it's kind of tedious, but, you know, it's kind of annoying in the sense that you have to keep hopping worlds because these doors reset after five, every five and a half minutes. But yeah, we got level 30, which is all good now, only level, only 20 more levels to go, and then we can, we've got the one requirement for, um, desert treasure, so that's good. Coming in with 900 total level milestone, that's not too bad, another 100 to go, and we'll be looking fairly fancy. So we got 32 thieving now, so 18 more levels and we're done. Hey, 40 thieving, 908 total level. So that's going very, very nicely, I think. I think it is definitely 50 thieving that we need. I can't really remember, let's have a look if I can find it on the quest guide. So if we go on to... Death Treasure. Oh, I need 53. Oh my god, I'm just so behind. Anyway, my plan was originally to do thieving. I obviously need to get the requirement down for Desert Treasure, which is 53. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure that's what it is, as seen in the last clip. But, you know, I haven't been on this account in so long, as you can probably tell, yet again. Um, I claimed everything from the calendar, and the plan is now to do the Combat Academy, because apparently you get some XP lamp from it. So, I'm going to bank all this shit in the inventory, and we're going to do the Combat Academy. And then we're going to put the XP onto Magic, just so I can boost, boost a few more levels up. And also, it is currently Slayer Weekend, so I'm going to be cracking on with Slayer after we've done this, just to hopefully try and smash out, I say, 50 Slayer or something like that, a nice round figure, which is quite quite high up as well. And uh, just to progress generally to 1k total level, that'd be a nice plan. But um, yeah, once my, obviously, my Road to Max Cash series is over, um, then I'll be fully focused on this on this account and I won't, won't really be slacking as much. I'm going to try and no-life it as much as I possibly can to get it decent base stats and obviously slay again and stuff like that and then move on to God Wars for a source of money or even QBD. So so yeah, I don't want to I don't want to stay around and be a low level for so long and try and drag it out. I want to try and boost up as fast as possible and just to no life it and just gain mad levels. So yeah, that is the current plan. Complete. I'm just going to uh, complete Combat Academy very very quickly now and then pop all the XP onto Mage and see how much XP that gets us. Right then, so that is the Combat Academy completed, you just have to go through all the different little combat mechanics to get people started. And then if you get Legendary rank in all 7 things, then obviously you get 21 reward books. So I'm going to put all these into Mage, as you can see I'll gain almost 5k Mage XP per book. I'm not really going to put it in Slayer because you only get 460, Prayer 2k, summoning 460, not really worth it. I can train them skills easy enough anyway, but I just thought Mage, I'll get the most amount of XP for these books and, you know, it's going to boost me up a few Mage levels, I do hope. Or it might, might just be, might put me up one level at least, which will be good. So yeah, I'm going to use all these books quickly and I shall return with what Mage level I, have, I do get to. I think I'll just get 72 to be honest, it won't get me up too much, so yeah. Right then, so I didn't actually use them at all on Mage, I thought it'd be such a bad idea to and a waste, so what I did do was, as seen here, we gained 40, up to 40 strength, 7 attack levels, 4 range levels, so yeah, I've got 40 attack and strength now, 30 range, my stats are looking quite nice now, I figured that, you know, just to gain, so like 100k XP into Mage would be a waste rather than me getting it up in a little, you know, lower level stats and just round them off slightly. So yeah, that is all done. Might, 
either, I don't know, slay now or crack on with thieving and finish that and get that um, desert treasure requirement done. I'm not really quite sure, but I might just benefit this weekend and do a little bit of slayer while I still have time. So that might be a plan. So I figured I may as well use the protein packs that I got from the calendar and I may as well stick them into hides because it's nice and AF cable and yeah just to get crafting it really just got another skill level 40 so we've got a fair amount of skills level 40 already to be honest with you just gonna plod on remain the remaining of these hides so another 110 to go which I'm gonna use and maybe it will get me to what 42 43 crafting we'll see Right, so it's the evening now of the Sunday, so Double Slay Weekend will end tomorrow when I'm at work. So I just did my Hill Giant task, I'm just trying to take advantage of as much of this as I can. I killed about 90 of them within about 10 minutes, which was very, very quick. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. Obviously, I don't get any Slayer points until I've completed slay uh, 10 Slayer tasks, so... Yeah, I need to complete 10 Slayer tasks, then we'll start getting a little bit of amount of points, and then when we complete the Smoking Kills quest, that is when we can get ourselves even more points and work towards the um, Slayer Helm. And also, what we want to do as well is get into Xanaris, so I need to complete Lost City, so we can access the uh, Slayer Master there, because Vanica doesn't really assign great tasks but I'm gonna to have to stick with him for a while I'll probably complete Lost City soon I've got a lot of quests to do and complete that are on the agenda that I'm probably gonna hopefully um, get done in this episode so gonna grab ourselves another task now let's see what we get and see what I mean he's even saying that I should be going to Xanaris um, so yeah I'll get a task from him and then ooh. We'll actually go with the Ice Giants because they're not in Wildy, so yeah. We'll go to the Ice Giants. I might do Lost City and whatnot now, I'm not quite sure. So yeah, I'll see you on the other side. So this should be it. Once I en enter this shed here, I should complete Lost City. So what I've done, I've also um, cut another four, well no, three Draymond Staffs and I've cut myself some cinnamon for a, I think it's recipe for disaster or something that is actually used for. So yeah, I'm going to keep that in the bank to... Um, you know, save it there for them previous quests that I need to do, or the next quest that I need to do, save going back and forth. So here we go then, enter the shed, let's see if we get the complete the quests. Yeah, there we go, 41 quest points, easy as that, so I've sort of accessed the Slay Master in Zanaris now. I can also do the Fairy Tale quests now, which is good, and also I have just remembered about doing Reaper assignments. So, my current Reaper assignment is actually Calfight Queen. Now, you know, I want to get my stats up to a stage where I can do that easily. Um, now, I know I probably need melee and also mage or range and melee, I'm not sure. Can't really remember. But yeah, I'm going to need two attack styles, quite high leveled, so maybe 70 plus, and then we'll go and do that Reaper task. And coming in with 20 Hunter, so now we can deploy two of these, so it does it automatically for me. That is just crazy. But yeah, 20 Hunter, I'm going to just sit here until I use these remaining protein traps. I may as well, got nothing better to do. And I'm just AFKing the Abyss a little bit on my main as well, finishing off defense to 200mm, which I'm probably will end up being 200mm before this video gets released, so yeah. There we are, coming in with 30 Hunter, skills looking very very juicy now, 975 total, 2.7 mil XP. I've got 79 of these left to do, which I'm going to obviously crack on with. And yeah, we're almost at 20 all stats, I didn't actually realise that, we just need fishing, uh, cooking and fletching, and then yeah, we're basically there at 20 all, which is decent. So that is all the protein traps done, got my two strange rocks as well, which is always good, added Hunter XP, got ourselves finally... Um, a total of 31 Hunter from that, which isn't too bad. We'll see what we can unlock. Quite a few things there. Now, you know, I probably might have been be be more beneficial to save them traps for higher Hunter levels. But a lower Hunter level doing these, you know, catching these tropical birds is just an absolute ball ache. So I thought, why not just AFK it? Um, so I can just like watch a few YouTube videos and whatnot, and just gain decent hunter XP at the same time. Like I'm sure I'm going to end up getting more of them on the Treasure Hunter as my account goes on. Um, and obviously, you know, it's best to unlock earlier, more efficient hunter methods at a lower level rather than you know messing about really trying to catch these things, which are kind of hard to do anyway. So yeah, might get back on the quest grind now. I'm not really sure. Or I might just continue slaying, or I might even, you know, 
keep skilling and get 20 or skills so yeah we'll see alright so sort of finishing off all skills level 20 just got ourselves 20 fishing so I'm here in obviously Catherby I've only got cooking left which is at 18 and then we get a cheeky little message so all well, my friends will see a cheeky little message anyway and that'll be quite nice every skill 20 plus already and yeah actually 20 cooking will get us 1k total so yeah we'll crack them with that right now here we go then for the first major milestone on this account I'd say which is obviously 1k total and 20 all skills which is not too bad so hopefully we don't burn these last two fish that I've got to cook and before I do oh no there we are so yep that is 20 all skills I do believe and obviously 1000 total level which is awesome so yeah the plan is now to actually go to sleep so I shall see you tomorrow when I wake up just capping at the clan citadel and we well, I'm using my festive aura as well and we just got ourselves 50 fire making which is a requirement for desert treasure if I go onto the quest log real quick um, yeah we just need 53 thieving then we've got all skill requirements and then I can start working on these quests and then we can obviously end up getting ancients which is which will be a good thing and the quest grind towards desert treasure has started coming in with troll stronghold I was reading the quest guide and it says sort of like experienced quest and maybe take a little while but I've literally done it in around five minutes and we get two reward lamps which give 10k xp each which is awesome which we're gonna pop straight in to agility I do believe yep so pop them into agility get closer to 50 if not 50 so oh we did get 50 that is awesome so 50 agility that is awesome 128k bonus xp as well to use which is brilliant so yeah on to let's have a look let me try and find desert treasure real quick so the next quest i'm going to do is either one of them on the list there and i shall see you when i'm done all right so that's my first ever troll invasion on this account completed had to do the 20 waves in the easy mode but obviously with me doing that now i can now access the hard mode for the previous months now the reason that i did do this is because i realized i need to do temple of ikov for desert treasure and that requires 40 range so it's gonna be it seems like a waste but i'm gonna pop this onto range i'm probably not gonna get very far with it 7.5k xp it's better than nothing and we got ourselves 34 range from 30 straight away so yeah I need to get 40 range and then I can do another quest but I might hold up that off for now and jump into Priest of Peril or something but we'll see and we have Priest in Peril completed took me five minutes so I thought I may as well do it obviously Wicked Hub HUD helps a lot now because you can withdraw out the essence and you don't have to run to the bank back and forth so that's great so 43 quest points we can get into Mauritania now we've got 1.4k prayer XP as well and um, yeah, still working towards 40 range and obviously completing the quests for Desert Treasure. Coming in with the tourist trap, it's taken me slightly longer than I expected because a few people tried to crash me in the abyss, so that's what I'm currently doing on my main, doing strength XP. Um, so yeah, we got ourselves 42 thieving off that quest, progress to 53 for the requirement for Desert Treasure. Um, but yeah, I've got, I think, Temple of Ikov and Dig Site to do. And then obviously get 53 thieving and I have all requirements for desert treasure. Oh my god, does anyone remember doing the dig site quest like back in the day or whatever, like a few years ago? And it, you had to pan this water here and you have to find, you know, find this golden cup for this one student to get the answer to this question. It took me absolutely ages on my main to do it, but on my all, within my fifth attempt, I think I've done it. So yeah, that is awesome. I love doing the quest though, it's really nostalgic and whatnot. So can't wait to get into the high leveled ones again and the grand masters and whatnot, start earning some decent rewards. Um, but for now, I'm just obviously still plodding on with these quests for Desert Treasure. And um, yeah, my goal is to get 100 combat by the double mini games weekend for Void. But I really doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. That is just the certificate that I have always wanted. Finally, you completed the dig site quest. So we got 15.3k mine and XP, 2k herb, which I think that should result in a few levels at least. And obviously, when I get 75 attack, major range, or even 91 um, hit points or health or whatever, then I can talk to the archaeologist and I'll get an additional reward. But until then, we shall continue and see what we leveled up. So we got ourselves four mining levels and we got 35 herbs. So that is pretty nice, up to 42 mining and 35 herbs very nice I've got one more quest to do which is Temple of Ikov I need 40 range for it and then I also need to get 53 thieving and then we can do desert treasure 
finally got ourselves 40 range. I decided to use my festive aura on it. It's kind of a waste, but you know, it's a daily recharge, so it's not that much of a waste. So we've got all the requirements now for Temple of Ikov, and that is the only quest requirement left, along with 53 thieving, which is obviously the skill requirement needed for Desert Treasure. Okay then, <laughs> that was a very, very quick quest. I mean, I don't know, I don't really know why I thought that it was a long quest, but it's actually not, and we get decent rewards. 8k Fletch, 10.5k range XP, that is awesome. So we've only got one more requirement now, and it's a skill requirement. I need to get 53 thieving. We are currently 42, so I'm going to crack on with thieving and get Desert Treasure done. So we got 50 thieving, 3 more levels to go, I'm using my festive aura doing the thieving guild, picking these doors and hopping world method, it's, it's quite long, well it's kind of fast but it's kind of annoying that I have to hot worlds all the time, hence why I've got private off so my friends don't get annoyed about it. So yeah, stay here for another 3 more levels and then we can get desert treasure done. And after one hour and a half and getting many many skill requirements and quest requirements to do this quest, we have finally completed Desert Treasure. So I can unlock Ancients now, which is awesome, and we get 20k Mage XP, no Mage level change, 5k to the next level, and we complete Desert Treasure at 84 combat, which is good. alright. And that is the first time I have actually completed Desert Treasure within the EOC, and it is much, much faster than what it took me to do on my main account which took me about five or six hours because I was just so bad when I um, first started this game um, and yeah with the OC and the bosses being really low levels and easy to kill then it took me an hour and a half so yep desert treasure to done desert treasure done time to swap to ancients or we're already on ancients there that is awesome and let the games begin